For us, the defining moments are intersections that give us an opportunity to turn, change direction, and seek a new destination. Okay. So, in order for us to define the moments in ourselves, we make a we ask one question: How will you be defined? Okay. So, first, show us who we really are. So Mike will explain how it will be. First of all, kasi alam mo yung ano eh, yung alam mo kung ano yung ano status mo ngayon, kung ano yung uh, spiritual status mo, financial status mo, status ng family mo. Alam mo eh, kasi ikaw nang nakakalam kung ano anong nangyayari sa buhay mo ngayon, di ba? So, so that means, ikaw, una mo, first of all, you have to, to locate yourself, find yourself where you are in your life. So, kung mahirap ka, uh, it all depends, it all begins on uh, how you see yourself, how you find yourself, and uh, are you happy with what you are right now, are you happy with uh, your current situation? So, ikaw yung maakasagot. So, yun ang uh, show us who we really are. But the second one, declare to others who we are. So, Na alam na natin sa sarili natin kung sino, sino tayo. So, i-declare natin sa iba kung sino talaga tayo. So, huwag tayong mag, uh, huwag natin takpak kung sino talaga. So, i-declare natin para ma-assess natin, para ma-motivate tayo as a leader. Uh, para ma yung mga followers natin ma-motivate. Kasi kung tayo pagtatakpan natin kung sino talaga tayo, matidetermine pa rin nila eh, later on. At saka malalaman nila na hindi tayo totoo para sa kanya. So the third is determine who will become. So paano tayo magsasaksi? Parang gano'n. <laughs> okay, oh, determine who will we become. So, alam mo na yung sa sarili mo. Alam mo na sino ka, anong, anong sa current status mo. Na-accept mo na yung, ano, yung, yung sarili mo. Tapos, ah, uh, you became true to yourself na ito ako, mahirap yung status namin ngayon kaya yung mga isip ko di ba kasi gusto mong makaawan sa buhay kaya yun sa Roy, na-share din sa Roy noon daw, uh, mano-mano tala yung trabaho niya kasi ayos ang pag-arali ng, ng mama niya sa college kahit na isang semester lang, hindi na hindi, hindi siya pa pag-arali so, hindi ni side niya, hindi pwedeng ganun kailangan kong magsikap, magsipag kasi pag hindi ko ginawa yun, anong hindi niya tinanggap kung ano yung, ano yung nasaan na, anong status niya at this point. So, he's trying to, to, to go higher, to a higher level, mag-level up. So, kaya, andito siya ngayon. So, yun ang uh, determine po yung ikaw. Kasi, ikaw lang yung makakaan, eh, makakulong sa sarili mo. So, yun yung sarili mo. So, the moments that uh, determine us, the groundbreakers, the heartbreakers, the cloud uh, breakers and the charge breakers. Okay? We have one quote. Leaders become better leaders when they experience a defining moment and respond to it correctly. So, thank you. Kasi yung defining moments, define our leadership. Kung ano tayo, kung ano yung natin, sabi natin si Sir Roy, nanghirap siya. Inovercome niya yung sa niya. So, it will, be, it will uh, affect him how he meets people. Kasi alam nang gaya ako sa ganito, ganito yung pinagalingan ko. So, I know the status of the field. Alam ko yung, ano, alam ko yung makakarelate ako sa mga tao nang galing din sa hirap, di ba? So, pag uh, galing ka sa broken family, so, uh, I think it will be a defining moment for you also na pagsikapan mo mabuo yung pamilya mo. So, nasa yun na kasi nang galing ka doon, you don't want uh, it, it defines you, you overcome your obstacles in life, so you can help other people also how to, how to, uh, to overcome their own obstacles. Kaya yun yung, uh, yung defining moments define our leadership. So, meron tayong groundbreaker, heartbreaker, cloudbreaker, and chartbreaker. So, of all of these three, itong tat, uh, for groundbreaker, cloudbreaker, chartbreaker, all of these defining moments only will happen if we say yes because these are opportunities. So, hindi mo masabi yung defining moment. Pag, 
dumating yung opportunity na yun, hindi mo ma-realize yun eh, pag hindi mo, hindi ka nag, pag tinandihan mo. Kasi, uh, merong opportunity presence sa'yo, kagaya yung sinabi ni John, uh, ni Maxwell kanina, yung may nag-offer sa kanya to build this uh, church, mag-fundraising siya. So, it became a defining moment for him because nag-say, nag-say siya ng yes. Nag-pinreset yung sarili niya. Pag hindi, pag nag-say no ka in the first place, so yung opportunity na yun will be lost. So, ma- if you look back, all the opportunity that you say yes to, do not start mo, ay, it became my defining moment pala. I did not realize it immediately, but this is the point where in my life changed. So, yun yung, ano, yun yung, yung difference. Whereas, this heartbreaker, this will, uh, uh, you say, uh, ang, ang, ang naman dito, it's different because it, it will, uh, it will happen to you. Itong, itong, what, uh, kung ang heart, kung ang groundbreaker, Cloudbreaker, chart breaker will, will happen to you if you only if you say yes to the opportunity. Pero itong heartbreaker, it will happen to you, to you whether you say it, we say yes or no. Hindi mo pwede yung tanggihan eh. Yung family mo, hindi mo sila control. Yung friends mo, hindi mo sila control. Yung, yung, yung work mo, hindi mo to control eh. So, ito, ito, I think this heartbreaker is the, the uh, pinakamabigat among these four, which is, uh, kailangan mong i-overcome. Uh, across history at uh, yung mga great leaders, yung mga merong changes na, na malaking changes na nabring sa world it all happened because something happened to their family meron silang pinaglaban ng mga karapatan which is nangyari sa kanila mabigat na kailangan yung i, ano, i, uh, this is their personal struggles in life so as uh, na-discussam kanina yung uh, itong defining moment kung sa mechanical pa para itong critical point na it. anything can go on. from this point it can go uh, solid, liquid, or gas it depends on you where you will go so kung spring pa if you'll have the limit A factor you have the limit elastic limit after that uh, it uh, pwedeng maputol pwedeng, uh, pwedeng bumalik so uh, it depends on us where we will go so meron tayong obstacle this our defining moment in life Either uh, we go, kasi itong life natin, everyday meron tayong routine, 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 routine. Uh, sabi natin, uh, nagtatrabaho tayo, at the end of the month, magpapadal tayo ng pera. Everything happens in a routine. Eh. routine. And suddenly, there will, be, there will become one, one instant, one event in our life that uh, will be a hindrance for us. And how we react to that hindrance, how we react to that obstacle will define us in the future. So, it depends on us whether we go down or we go up. It all depends on us. So, yun yung defining moment. And, uh... Itong, sabi nga dito, leaders become better leader when they experience a defining moment and respond it correctly. Sabi nga ni Michael, kinispin niya yung experience mo. Kailangan, ah, yung experience mo, although na nagdaan ka dyan sa mababa, ang hard work ka, nag-aaral ka, natapos ka, naging successful ka sa karir mo, kailangan huwag mong kakalimutan to respond it correctly. Kailangan na nasa tama ang pag-respond mo sa kapwa mo. In return doon sa kapwa mo, dapat kung ano yung meron ka, kung meron ka ma-share, i-share mo. Katulad sa experience ko, meron ako mga ilang estudyante na pinapag-aaral ko. So, yun ang binabalik ko sa that, dahil sa paghihirap. Dati pinaghirap, naghirap ako. Nag-hard work ako, nag-struggle. Uh, so, gusto ko lang i-share na, yun nga, defining moment, respond it correctly. So, in that way, kailangan ibalik mo lang nasa tamang paraan. Doon sa kapwa mo, hindi sa sarili mo.